The New Mutants is about this group of young mutants who are trapped in this facility as they fight to save themselves and to find a way out. Now to keep in mind, this movie was supposed to come out all the way back, like originally it was supposed to come back in uh, April 2018. It was, it, it was supposed to come out two years ago, but then it got pushed back and then delayed and then pushed back and delayed. There was some reshoots. Um, and then the whole Disney buying Fox and then they had to push it back once again. And then finally, it's coming out April 2020. I don't think so because the pandemic ha happened and it got pushed back for the millionth time. Um, all the way to August 28th and then finally, finally, now it is in theaters. Going back to Maisie Williams and Blue Hunt, their, uh, you know, Danielle Moonstar and Wayne Sinclair, their relationship I thought was pretty beautiful. And I loved their relationship with each other. It was pretty, it was cute, it was adorable. Dipping into the negatives, um, one of the cons that I didn't like about the movie, kind of, not all the time, but there were some times, like in the first act of the movie, where it felt a little bit like exposition. Here's this character, let me tell you more about him. Oh, here's another character, let me tell you all about her. Instead of telling us all of this, you know, all this information, why don't you just, you know, just show it to us? And they did through flashbacks, but the problem is those flashbacks are limited. They, they're they very brief, they're limited. I, I just want the flashbacks and their origins of each of these characters to be explored more. The demon bear is just a, a fragment of Danielle Moonstar's mind. It's like part of her mind. But the other antagonist is Dr. Reyes and she's just not a great villain. <laughs> like, she talks about her past but there really is nothing to her, her character. She's just a doctor and a therapist. That's it. I think critics are very harsh with their reviews for the movie. It's not Logan, it's not Days of Future Past. I get it. But in my opinion, and this is just my opinion, in my opinion, this movie, The New Mutants, is way better than Dark Phoenix. Dark Phoenix, that movie, like, I don't even know what happened. Like, I was so unimpressed with that movie. This is it, everyone. This is it, guys and gals. The next time we see these X-Men characters could be in the MCU, so, which is pretty exciting. Um, but because the New Mutants is over, it's the last of the Fox's X-Men universe, just because, you know, because, just because it's done doesn't mean, you know, it's done. What I mean by that is I will continue reviewing the other X-Men movies in due time, so don't worry. Let me know what you thought about the new mutants in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, share this video with your friends and family, and I will see you in my next review.